Hi guys, thanks for joining. I am Dishti and in this video I am going to do a review and wet test of this newly launched Nika All Day Matte Foundation. Now Nika has launched this foundation few days back and this foundation is for normal to combination skin people. If you summon from India you can have this foundation from Nika app and also you can buy it from Nika retail store if you have that in your city. And I actually don't know Nika ship outside India or not so we have to check that. Now this new foundation from Nika is a matte foundation. It has 30 ml of product and the MRP is 5.99 in Indian currency. So it is a budget foundation and in market the most popular budget foundation in matte finish that we have currently is this one. This is Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation. So the moment I saw this Nika foundation, I had this question in mind that is this foundation better than my Maybelline Fit Me foundation? So I think many of you also want to know because I think this Maybelline Fit Me foundation many of you have in your vanity right now this maybelline fit me foundation also has 30 ml of product and its price is 549 in indian currency so it is actually a little bit inexpensive than this nika foundation and you can have this maybelline fit me foundation in many online makeup store or even at your nearest drugstore it is a drugstore product and very easily available now nika foundation comes in this kind of cylindrical glass bottle which has a pump with it and the packaging is very similar to this maybelline fit me foundation it has similar kind of glass bottle it is a square type of glass bottle and also it has a pump next is very important thing guys that is the shade range nika has launched this foundation in 15 shades whereas this maybelline fit me foundation is available in 18 shades now i am 228 soft tan in maybelline fit me now nika has divided the shade range of this foundation in four categories light medium tan and deep and for light medium and tan categories there are four shades in each category and for the deep category there are three shades so there are total 15 shades now i'm a person with a very strong yellow undertone so whenever i pick up any foundation i want a yellow undertone in my foundation now nika has mentioned the undertone of each foundation in their app so it is very convenient to pick up the right shade and undertone from their app but there is a problem that is in tan category there is no option for the yellow undertone people now if i want to choose a foundation which has yellow undertone i have to pick up it from medium range or deep range now the most pigmented foundation in medium category with a yellow undertone is number eight olive but that one is very light for me and if i go to the deep category and i pick up the yellow undertone lightest pigmented foundation from there then I have to choose number 13 honey which is very deep for me. So I don't have a perfect option of shade and undertone from Nika shade range. So I pick up a foundation which has neutral undertone instead of the yellow undertone. As it is a neutral undertone foundation it will give me a little white cast but as I am going to do a wet test so I am not going to add anything with this foundation to adjust the undertone now before foundation today i'm going to use this nika prep me up primer and i'm going to test the nika foundation longevity over nika primer now it is very nice that nika has this primer and the skin shield foundation in mini version now it will be very nice if nika launch a mini version of this foundation too because whenever we have a new launch of foundation in market there is always a confusion about the shade so if you have the mini one of this foundation we can pick up that one and can can taste the shade first and then can go for the larger pack. Now on this up I'm going to use Nika All Day Matte Foundation in the shade 09 Nutmeg and on this up Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Polis in the shade 228 Soft Tan. And as both of these foundations are matte foundations so I'm going to use Cam Beauty Blender for both of this. Now I'm using one pump of each foundation today and covering half of my face with that. Now one pump for half of the face is equivalent to two pump foundation for the full face. I think most of the time of makeup I don't go more than two pump for any foundation. Now Nika foundation is very easily blendable with damp beauty blender. It has no fragrance in it. Now you can see the finish of this foundation is matte and it is very comfortable on skin. I really like the coverage of this foundation. It has covered all my hyperpigmentations and dark spots very well. It is actually medium to full coverage foundation. 
Now I can feel the layer of this foundation on my skin. It feels similar to the touch of the surface of a leather ball. It has little weight, not too much. Next I am applying the Maybelline Matte Plus Polis foundation and I am taking just one palm of it on the same beauty blender. This foundation also very easily blendable and gives matte finish and also it is very comfortable on skin. It is also absolutely fragrance free. Now I am really surprised to notice that the coverage of Maybelline foundation is much lower than the Nykaa foundation. I can see the hyperpigmentations especially at the side of my lips. So this Maybelline Fit Me foundation is actually light to medium coverage foundation but it is buildable to full coverage. Now when I am touching this part of my face with Maybelline foundation it feels just like a layer of powder on my skin. This side is much more lightweight and breathable. Now both of this foundation oxidize a little and the shade becomes little darker. So at the time of selecting the shade one need to keep it in the mind. So guys, let's compare these two foundations on different aspects side by side and see which one wins. Now for price, Maybelline is a winner as it is 50 rupees cheaper than Nykaa foundation. Then the packaging, now for packaging both are winner to me. Pump of both these foundations work absolutely fine. Next is the shade range. Now it definitely depends on individual skin tone and what options are available. Now for me, Maybelline has better match. Also, the shade option for Maybelline is more than the Nykaa at present. Therefore, for me, Maybelline is a winner for the shade. Then the finish, both have very similar matte finish, so both are winner. Now, both of these foundations are also very comfortable to wear, so for that, there is no single winner. Now, for coverage, Nykaa for sure has done a better job than Maybelline. So here, Nykaa wins. For lightweight option, I will pick up the Maybelline one. Now finally, how long are these foundations are? So now I am shooting in early morning. I am going to keep these foundations on my face for the whole day and will tell you in the evening. Now I am not applying any concealer, setting powder or bronzer blush on my face today so that if any creasing is there, I can detect it. So let me have a break and see you soon in the evening. So guys, welcome back and it is almost 12 hours now. I have applied these two foundations on my face and I have not done any kind of retouch of this makeup base. Now I can tell you about the longevity of these two foundations and honestly speaking, on the wedding taste, both of these foundations perform really well and almost same. Now there is a little bit creasing on this, uh, you know, under eye areas. I don't know how much the camera can catch, but here the under eye portions and the side of my lips, these two portions on both sides have a little bit creasing. Otherwise, the whole makeup base is very much perfect. So both of these foundations are very much longer foundations and you can wear any of these two foundations for the makeup which you need to carry for the whole day. Now guys, I'm a dry skin person and it is a springtime here. So the weather is very dry and I think because of that, both of these foundations have performed very well. But if you're someone who has very oily skin or the weather you are in, it is very, you know, hot, humid and there is a lot of sweating, then Probably the performance of these two foundations may different. So guys, I think both of these foundations are very good quality matte foundations in affordable budget range. Now, if you are looking for a foundation which is lightweight, skin-like and you know gives medium kind of coverage, then this is a better option. It is a good foundation for you know everyday makeup kind of thing and also you can build this foundation to full coverage. And if you are looking for a foundation which gives much better coverage with less quantity of product and gives you very flawless base for your makeup then Nykaa all day matte foundation is a better option because this foundation has much better coverage than Maybelline Fit Me one. So guys, I hope this video is helpful and if it is then don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also do subscribe and ring the bell for more content. See you soon in the next video. Bye guys.